Okay, we're gonna get started. I just wanna say thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2019 Westby Awards. Uh, my name is Paul Macklin. Good evening and welcome to the 2019 Westby Awards. This year, like many others, we had incredible victories, heartbreaking losses, and record-setting performances. For athletes, these games are, and meets are more than just tangible statistics or outcomes. These become our heartfelt emotions and we work hard to find the balance between defining success and failure every day. Those two words aren't always easy to define and might even mean something different for each one of us. However, this year we saw heartbreaks and losses of every kind, but we also saw incredible victories. Tonight we celebrate them all and follow that with a celebration of our past with our Hall of Fame inductions where four former athletes and a coach will be celebrated for their successes at Woodside High School. While we are tremendously proud of their accomplishments on the field, none of it will be possible without our students' hard work and dedication in the classroom. Being a student athlete at Woodside comes with high demands of long hours of studying and homework combined with many hours of practice and competition. While we are here tonight to celebrate the successes of our student athletes, past and present, the following individuals have strived to become the best students they can be while excelling in their sports. The Virginia High School League recognizes the outstanding work of our student athletes with an academic excellence award for those holding a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. Please draw your attention to the screen as we identify our Woodside student athletes that are being recognized tonight. When you hear your, when you hear your name or see it on the screen, please stand at your seat and remain standing until all student athletes are recognized. Please your, hold your applause until this. all students are standing. Thalia Askew, Hannah Baird, Kendall Bell, Soraya Bibbs, Evan Vitello, Carson Vitello, Amaya Boyce, Adrian Bunn, Isabel Bruton, Ann Carlson, Briley Sorrell, Riley Chervant, Nicole Christian, Tristan Clark, Vicki Dam, Ariel Davis, Sophia DeVencio, Lauren Dotson, Aaron Dooley, Mary Catherine Dunlovey, Maria, Maria Garcia, Tana Garriott, Alexis Garza, Sean Gethers, Ch Chantel Golding, Ryan Gordon, Quentin Gray, Sophia Grover, Amani Hamel, Shayla Ankerson, Lily Carr, and Tony Harrington. Joshua Hartley, Elijah Hiltz, Isabel Ingerston, Kyle Jackson, Jeremiah Jones, Malia Jones, Grace Keene, Madison Kovac, Alexandra La Rivera, Kyle Lanchester, Ashley Lai, Skylar Limebury, Lisa Lafredo, Lizzie Marcolini, Mariah Martinez, Zoe McCarthy. Clara McIntyre, Alexander McGrew, Demarius McIntosh, Eric Mendez Alberti, Isa Merritt, Bear Nettles, Tyson Odette, Meredith Alea Ramos, Sky Olson, Ivana Ortega, Ariana Ortega, Elizabeth Osbert, Jaquasia Page Nowles, Amaya, Amaya Peters, Jared Kider, Jessica Plancarti Masera. Emma Reb, Shalise Richardson, Joshua Ruff, Robert James Stanlock, Stephen Sales, Rebecca Schiller, Jordan Schirmeyer, Janai Sewer, Amari Simmons, Alana Smith, Victoria Stevens, Derek Stewart, Corinne Saunders, Deshaun Taylor, Devondre Thomas, Taylor Trock, Hian Tran, Anne Fong Tran, Carson Ternage, Taya Valera, Sarah Verbeck, Connor Ware, Veronica Wiley, Tyrese White, Brianna Williams, Alexis Williams, Imani Williams, Naomi Williamson, Kyler Wilson, Brianna Winkle, Brianna Young, Lafredo. These are athletic, uh, athletic awards that, uh, that we uh, we are very fortunate to have that some of our student athletes will be able to play at the next level. Uh, for, for some of our seniors, their hard work and efforts in the classroom, as well as on the athletic course and fields, have paid off with commitments to play collegiate level. We would like to recognize these individuals now. If you hear your name, please come up to the stage and be recognized. Audience, uh, we actually hold your applause until all our athletes have come to the stage. Uh, first of all, we'd like to see if Raven Blair has earned a full scholarship to play softball at North State University. Raven. Okay. All right, we got Kaya Veneer, Alyssa Francis, 
Janai Stewart, Stewart and Alexis Williams, they will be attending Randolph College and be playing softball. So would you come up to the stage, please? Javier Anderson will earn a partial scholarship to play football at Virginia State University. Carrington Bowden will be attending Shawaran College and be playing football. Shamal Holland will be attending Shenandoah College and be playing football. And Devon, Devon Hyman will be attending Bridgewater College and be playing football. Everybody give them a hand. Student athletes, we appreciate your time and the effort that you have spent here for four years. We want to see great things for you to the years to come. And also, always represent Woodside High School. Thank you very much. These two students have demonstrated a commitment to academic excellence for the past four years, as well as dedication to their sports. They have mastered the art of time management and taken great responsibility and pride in their work, both in classroom and on the field. For many athletes, there is the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. But for these two, there is also the drive to succeed and be as formidable in the classroom as they are on the field. Our senior Lady Wolverine with the highest GPA is Ivana Ortega. Our senior gentleman Wolverine with the highest GPA is Carson Botello. It is our pleasure to present an award for best team performance in a single game. This award goes out to a team that created an exciting comeback win, scored more points on a top-ranked team than any other, and show incredible heart and dedication to the sport they love while working as a team during a particular game. Norman Glass said, a group becomes a team when each member is sure enough of his or herself and their contributions to praise the skills of others. These groups deserve our praise for the outstanding accomplishments of each team member and one of the highlight games or meets of this season. The nominees for the best female team performance in a single game are. Varsity Basketball. Against Warwick High School, the team was down 13 points with 3 minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They outscored their opponents 20 to 6 to come back and win the game. Varsity Field Hockey. The field hockey team defeated Hampton 5 to nothing to secure their spot in regionals. Varsity Soccer. The team worked together to reject all of the attacks that the coast had tried and scored the only goal to win one nothing. And the winner is Varsity Basketball. Put together a superior. 
superior performance and ran their best time of 1 minute 32.27 seconds and finished third in the 6A state championship. And the winner is varsity baseball. These are the teams that came together, worked together, and succeeded together. The nominees for the best female team performance in this season are... Varsity Field Hockey. The Wolverine Field Hockey team beat Hampton High School 5-0 to advance to the 6A Regional Playoffs in Virginia Beach. Varsity Soccer. The team was able to pull together for the last six games of the season to go on a five-game winning streak. They finished the season 7, 8, and 1 with 22 points to remain competitive for a Region 6A spot. And the winner is Varsity Field Hockey. College 
football coach from the University of Michigan was once a firm believer that every day we either improve or get worse. But now, but that you never stay the same. The same philosophy is often repeated by your own coaches at Woodside, with improvement being the key. While some teams and programs remain consistent over the years or throughout a season, some teams are highlighted by their growth. These are often the teams that truly captivate the excitement of Woodside and create a rally of support behind them. This could be a team that improved from the previous season or one that showed tremendous growth and improvement over the course of a single season this year. Here are the nominees for most improved team. Men's tennis. After having no wins in the 2018 season, the 2019 tennis team went 3-6-1. Led by Tony Harrington and Carson Batallo, the team finished sixth in the Peninsula District. Men's Volleyball. The volleyball team ended the 2017 season with a record of 8-11 and missed the playoffs. This year, they followed up that disappointing season with a record of 14-7 and regional berth in the playoffs. Women's Field Hockey. The varsity field hockey team survived a rebuilding year with a new coach. No one in the preseason gave this team much hope of winning after having three coaches in four years. And yet, the girls went 8-8 eight and, eight and qualified for a spot in regionals, which they had not done the previous year. Women's Tennis. After having no wins in the 2018 season, the team went 5-6 in the 2019 season. Tiffany Johnson and Bettina Ross led the way for our young ladies and placed third in the Peninsula District. shaped me and helped me, um, you know, settle in the wood side. I want to thank, um, again, all my teammates, and thank you. Our comeback performance of the year recognizes either an individual or a team that shocked and surprised us with their performance. Many believe that a comeback is always better than a setback and take pride in making the possible come true. These people became an inspiration to the rest of us to come back strong, even when it looked like a call. Here are the nominees for comeback performance of the year. Men's Baseball. The team came back to beat Hampton 6-5. The team had been trailing 5-1 in the fourth inning to come back and beat Hampton. Women's Basketball. Against Warwick High School, the team was down 13 points with 3 minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They outscored their opponents 20-6 to to come back and win the game. Women's Field Hockey. The team finished the season 8-8 making them 8th in the 6A region, which put them in the playoffs. Women's Soccer. The team was down 1-0 in the first 20 minutes of the game. The Lady Wolverines were determined to fight until the end. They pushed back New Kent's attacks until they were able to tie the game before the end of the first half. 10 minutes into the second half, the Lady scored the game-winning goal on a cross from Stephanie and a header by Morgan. Pressure became intense for the rest of the game, but they did not fold and held on for the comeback victory. The winner of the comeback performance of the year is Varsity Baseball.
Jalen in his speech, but I'm the second captain, I guess. But hey, this team, we uh, fought our hearts out of that game. Uh, we knew how much it meant to us. We wanted to get that regional berth, and we couldn't have done it without our coaches. So uh, thank you. While many sports at Woodside are team focused, there are still moments where individuals take our breath away. Sometimes one player can put the team on their back and lead them to victory, such as individuals are game changers. They go above and beyond and perform under extraordinary pressure. They display incredible talent and leadership in moments that become indescribable. Here are the nominees for best female individual performance in a single game. Stephanie Tobias for varsity soccer. Stephanie worked around multiple heritage defenders to score four goals in the game called for the team mercy rule. Maddie Wakush for varsity soccer. Maddie was at her best during the Pocosin game. She rejected over 25 goal attempts by Pocosin, saving close range shots at the goal line to preserve a 1 0 win. And the winner for best female individual performance in a single game is Maddie Wong. Coach Timis, um, without you guys, this season probably wouldn't have gone anywhere because you need a team. And um, yeah, thanks to my mom and dad. Um, I love you guys. Here are the nominees for best male individual performance in a single game. Carrington Bowden. <laughs> Heritage. The three and a half quarterback sacks are an all time school record for sacks. Each of those sacks got the defense off the field and gave the offense another opportunity to score. In addition to the sacks, he was also credited with four quarterback hurries. Carrington made first team all district defensive end and second team all region defensive end. John Carter for varsity baseball. John came into the game against Hampton batting over 400. He was not detoured by the Crabbers as he led the varsity baseball team to victory. In the game, John was three for four at the plate with a double, two runs scored, and two runs batted in. John beat a throw from the Hampton shortstop to record his third hit of the game. And with his hustle, the tying run crossed the plate. John came in relief to pitch the final two innings, allowing no runs while striking out three batters. John Carter made first team all district shortstop. Matthew Stuffel for wrestling. At the Ram Rumble at Lafayette High School, considered one of the biggest and toughest tournaments in Virginia, Matthew was the ninth seed in the tournament. He defeated the first, third, and fourth seeds to become the 160 pound Ram Rumble champion. There were over 75 wrestlers in the 160 pound weight class in the state. Tyler Thompson for track. Tyler put on a superior performance during indoor track by running a personal best of 6.43 seconds in the 55 meter dash in the regional 6A championships. Two weeks later, he followed up his performance with a second place finish in the 55 meter dash in the 6A state championship. Best male individual performance in a single game is Matthew Stuffel. So, it's a lot of people I can thank for this, honestly, but it's a long list. Um, I've had multiple, co co Coach Mix, honestly, just, he, he beat me up every day in practice and made me a lot stronger and a lot faster. Uh, my mom and my dad um, most definitely supported me so much and, you know, like money-wise and like emotionally and they pushed me and my team, they looked up to me and um, yeah, I just, just thank you.
highest level day after day are incredibly gifted. They are called special gamers, grinders, leaders, and captains. They are dependable members that often become extensions of the coach and can be counted on to play hard no matter what. The nominees for best female individual performance in this season are Lissa Lafredo for swimming. Lissa stands out as the female swimmer who dropped the most time in a single event and consistently dropped time in all of her events. Lissa started the season with a 7 minute 53 seconds in the 500 yard freestyle. And she ended the season dropping her time by 27 seconds. Lissa also dropped her butterfly in 50 freestyle times by almost 2 seconds each. Lissa swam in the regional championship, swimming her personal best time in a distance event and helping the Woodside Relays place at the regional meet. Stephanie Tobias, Varsity Soccer. Stephanie was the team offense working hard in every game to provide opportunities for her team to score with 55 across the opponent's goal. When the opportunities presented themselves, she capitalized on them, scoring 90% of the team goals. Maddie Walkoosh for soccer. Maddie demonstrated that guarding the goal was a task that she had mastered this season. Acted the opposition attacks in every game, saving 56 shots on goal. But most importantly, her team could count on her to score when called on to take the penalty kick. And the winner is... Lissa Lafarge.
couldn't be stopped. Tyler finished the season with over 200 kills, 100 assists, and 50 blocks. Philip Woodard from Volleyball and Baseball. Philip was a leader on the volleyball team, which finished in the top of the district. On the baseball field, Philip played multiple positions, as well as being a leader on offense. Both volleyball and baseball made it to the regional playoffs with help from Philip.
In the Peninsula District, Lance is one of the fastest distance freestyle swimmers, holding Woodside's 400-yard freestyle record. Lance has proven himself to be one of the strongest and most versatile freshman swimmers Woodside has ever had. By the end of the season, Lance had swum in six different events, which helped our team place third in the Peninsula District. Besides competing in his individual events, Lance's speed helped our medley and freestyle relays place in every meet and eventually made it to the regional championships. Individually, the team could count on Lance to finish first or second in his events. Knowing the team win was more important, Lance was always flexible, swimming the 100-yard butterfly or the 200-yard individual medley when needed. As Lance continues to grow, he will be vital in the success of the Woodside School team. Austin Wells for baseball. play the outfield. His hard work and resilience paid dividends by the varsity baseball team, qualifying for the 6A regional tournament after losing nine seniors last year. Austin batted 345 for the season, scoring six runs and eight RBIs. His contributions led to the overall success of the varsity baseball team. And the male rookie of the year is Lance Sienzi.
both field hockey and softball. I want to thank my coaches, Coach Reagan, Coach Talon, and Coach Chuck. I want to take, thank my teammates for field hockey and softball, and thank you. She was an even better person. Uh, she swam, she, she ran cross country, she played field hockey. She was an all around good person. Midway through her junior year, she was stricken with leukemia. And I was her teacher then. And it was an interesting thing to see Holly take that news in and work it through. I remember the day she told me she was stricken, she came to me and said, am I gonna go make up all my work? And I'm like, you get better. She didn't. 
Six months later, in August of that year, she passed away. And it was a hard thing to see. And it was an interesting thing how all the students came together her senior year. Um, that class of 12 and all the people that were with and connected to her really meant something to her. And it's been an honor to kind of sit up here and represent her as I give out this award for the Holly Shapiro Award. Um, she was somebody that epitomized what it was to be a good student and a good athlete here at Woodside. And to win this award really means something that you're a lot of, you're a lot of both. And that's why I take great pride in nominating this person, these people. Lauren Dodson for swimming and cross country. Lauren started her athletic career at Woodside as a JV softball player while she was in the eighth grade. And she continued to play softball her freshman year. Lauren also joined cross country in the swim team and continued all four years of high school. Lauren has served as captain of the cross country team for two years and co-captain of the swim team this year. In the pool, Lauren was Woodside's outstanding backstroker, which helped her individually and her relay teams make it to the district and regional championships, where she has swum for two years. Lauren is a member of Mu Alpha Theta, the National Honor Society, Odyssey of the Mind, Social Studies Honor Society, and Science National Honor Society. Within the community, Lauren mentors young swimmers on her summer swim team, as well as volunteering time at the SPCA and in the nursery at church. Lauren has also held a job for the past two years. Lauren is ranked ninth in her class with a GPA of 4.26 and has been taking AP classes since her sophomore year. She will be attending Virginia Tech in the fall. Ian Tran for She is able to handle all of that responsibility and is still willing to give back to her school whenever needed. The Holly Shapiro Award goes to Lauren Dotson. Share your smile with the world because we need it. By L. Dotson. Hey, let's give these kids a round of applause. They speak now. Now, I'm here to talk about some all Americans. This first young man, Aaron O'Rell. He came to Woodside from Texas. And when he came from Woodside from Texas, I knew Texas had athletes. But with the mixture of Texas and Woodside coaches family, it made that young man brighter than what he came here with. Because the Woodside Nation pulled together and put a wonderful team together to help us out we reached out to everyone in this whole building. I would say thank you to the coaching staff, thank you to the teachers, thank you to the administration, because without them, track and field would not be anything. Aaron Morrell left the school as All-American in track and field. He won districts, he won regionals, he won state, and he also won in relays, and he also was highly recommended as All-American. I say to you right now, and I bring to the stage which side, Hall of Fame, Aaron Morrell.
How's it going, everybody? I'm good. Um, I really didn't prepare anything to say, but um, I was talking to Coach Johnson earlier today, and uh, we were talking about how it's been five years since I've been here on Woodside and I've accomplished what I've accomplished. And, you know, sometimes we get caught up, you know, chasing new achievements in life that we forget about all the good things we've done in the past. So one gem I want to leave with all of you, um, all the athletes here, is don't forget to be thankful about the stuff you have today because that's all the stuff you need to create the future you want. So thank you all and congratulations. This next guy we're going to bring to the stage is Curtis Park. Curtis Park was one of the first All-Americans for Woodside track and field. Um, came for the scene as a young man. He, he, I thought he was a soccer player, but he came out to be one of the, the best 800 runners, mile runners in Virginia. Um, I, I cannot hold it no more. Curtis Park, come on down. Played linebacker, defense again uh, later on throughout the course of his, his career. Also played tight end. Um, did a great job for us uh, on the football field. But in addition to that, he was on the varsity basketball team. I believe he was on that, that uh, one of those state championship teams. And uh, then uh, he was a region qualifier in uh, track, in uh, hurdles, and, and uh, high jump. So uh, it's my pleasure to present Jared Dietrich. Thank you to all the coaches. Uh, my family is here. Thank y'all for supporting me. You know it's being here every step of the way. And uh, thanks to everybody out here, all the student athletes. Good job, y'all, y'all. Keep working hard. And thank y'all. Good evening. My name is Jenna Cumming. I'm a 2003 Woodside graduate. Um, I began assisting with girls volleyball here in 2006, and then I transitioned. Um, into the girls varsity head volleyball coach in 2008 and was here until uh, 2012. Um, to my right is coach Hannah Shrek, who is also a Woodside graduate. Um, she's the class of 2008. She was my trusty sidekick from 2009 to 2012. Um, we're honored to be here tonight to celebrate athleticism at our own alma mater. But enough about us. Um, we're here to celebrate the achievements and successes of one of our former players, Rachel Green. Um, she was always known as an amazing soccer player, but then she decided one day that she wanted to try volleyball. As a natural athlete, it came quickly and easily to her. Um, she was our starting setter for four years, and as the video said earlier, 
Um, it's a good comparison to compare a setter like a quarterback of a football team. Um, it's a, a pivotal part of your team. She led us to um, Woodside Girls Volleyball's first ever um, undefeated regular season. Among her many accomplishments, she was team captain, MVP, a fierce competitor on the court, first team all district for three consecutive years. Uh, she was named Daily Press uh, Soccer Player of the Year, first team all district all four years for soccer, and upon her graduation, she held the record for the most uh, goals scored and was awarded Female Athlete of the Year. Um, whenever Hannah and I talk about Rachel, one of the memories that we have of her, um, we always joke and say, you can take the soccer, you can take a girl out of soccer, but you can't take soccer out of the girl. Um, during a volleyball game, um, she had these fine-tuned instincts to kick a ball, and it just kind of came natural for her, um, which isn't the thing you're supposed to do in volleyball, you're supposed to use your hands, which is the opposite of soccer. But she went after a ball that was shaked to the side, um, and she tipped it up with her toe and ac on accident, but probably on purpose because of her skills, popped it up into a perfect set, allowing one of our hitters to get a kill and win the game point that night. Um, she went on to play at soccer at CNU uh, while returning during her freshman year of college to assist Hannah and I with our team training. Uh, Rachel was one of the most talented, fun-loving, committed, hard-working players that I've ever coached, and we're excited to be able to honor her here tonight. Give it up for Rachel Green. Taking a college final, so we'll be accepting us with the band. Thank you. Thank you.